Hey guys, okay, um, my mom just had a birthday and I got this tissue paper and I thought, gosh, that's perfect size for, you know, book or something. So I decided I am going to do a video and show you what you can do with these odd, um, you know, tissue papers that you get. Um, so basically you're going to need tissue paper, you're going to need some distress ink, I think would work the best on this. Any dye ink would probably be just fine. Um, but for the way I do, what I do at the end, I think your distress ink is going to work the best. Um, but if you don't have distress ink, or if you don't have any ink at all, and all you have is, is maybe some uh, watercolor uh, paint or, you know, something like that, meh. This is really thin tissue paper, though, so... Uh, I don't, I don't know if that would work for this. Maybe just on regular paper you could do the same thing on watercolor paper, which you could, definitely. Anyway, so getting right to it here. Um, basically, I'm lightly, ever so lightly rubbing, oh, and see that one's ripped already, um, wiping some color. Uh, this is one nice thing is that you can... Uh, do this to really look like um, whatever whatever project you're working on. I have very little blue in my project, so I've put very little blue uh, on here. I have um, pulled some colors that I thought would look really nice, and I'm just um, working these colors through again, trying not to uh, make it like super wet just um, really really lightly putting some ink on there and uh, not you know not really paying a whole lot of attention to where I'm putting anything uh, I think the randomness of this will work just fine so uh, and, you know, sometimes you've got the line, and that is not that big a deal either. Uh, it adds to the texture, I think. Work down here a little bit. But you just want to kind of get um, color everywhere. And I'm using, oh, I think I've got eight or nine colors here. I've got another blue, and I'll read these colors that I've used uh, off to you in just a minute, because uh, I know I've just been kind of whizzing through them. Okay, oops. Okay. Oh, that was heavy. And try not to be, like, really heavy-handed, so... We just want to make sure that we're getting stuff. This is all right. Uh, this color, though, I really like this color, so I am doing a little bit more. But uh, there we go. And I also think I'm going to try. This is a very dark color. This is Dusty Concord. I'm going to try and just do it really light. I'm just, I mean, just barely touching the paper. Barely touching the paper. This is a really juicy one, so I just have to kind of be careful. All right, so I've got some nice purples in there. And the, I think the lighter that you go, the better, because it's going to allow the colors to work a little better in the end. Okay, so there. And then the last one I'm going to do is a little vintage photo. Um, I have kind of done this vintage photo on every one of them. But again, it's still working the same, uh, the same way as all of the other ones, just kind of a light touch. Okay. So there's a bunch of colors, and I'll read them off to you. Worn Lipstick, Broken China, Spice Marmalade, Shabby Shutters, Victorian Velvet, Scattered Straw, Tumble Glass, Dried Marigold, Dusty Concord, and Vintage Photo. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to take stays on. 
Um, I have a bunch of these uh, stays on ones and I, I really like them. Now this claret is red. I don't have a lot of red in my in my um, project so I'm not going to do that. I've got orange. I've got brown. This is a gray color. I got that cactus and the midnight blue not so much. Okay so uh, let's see. This is a Prima and it's like a crackle, a ink stain or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure. It doesn't really say on the stamp what it is. It looks like some kind of crack. Um, I don't know. Spill. So I just randomly doing this. Okay, so that's enough of that one. And I have, uh, this is just a LaBlanche stamp, um, just with some verbiage on it. And let's see, I will do this with the gray. This is um, kind of a light gray. Um, I love these LaBlanche stamps because they are uh, extremely detailed extremely detailed and uh, I just don't think you find a whole lot of stamps that are much more beautiful than than uh, the La Blanche stamps are okay and again just randomly placing stuff down. That's good. I'll clean all my stamps at the end. Uh, you don't need to see all of that. Um, let's see, I've got some flowers. I'm going to put that on with orange. I'm just going to do this with my fingers. Well, I do have a, let me be just as quick I said, I think. just I just kind of have chosen three or four different uh, well one big stamp set which I'm just starting to get into and that's enough of that color and let's see we'll do this with this color these again are just kind of some of the what I want to kind of be in the background. Oh, this is very, very, very bright, which is all right because I have some bright greens. There we go. That's enough of that one. But these are beautiful colors, these stays on. I got these from. I, Joann's I think might have been Michael's um, but I love them and the rest of everything I'm going to be doing with the Versafine uh, ink and this is a very juicy it's a pretty new pad it's a very juicy pad and I'm just going to be flipping these over Some, some of these I'm going to do twice, and some of them I'm just going to do once. Let's see. There we go. And I've got a, oops, um, a nest. <laughs> like I said, it's very juicy, so it's just sticking on there. And it goes this way. Got a little black on my finger. I'm just going to rub it off. There we go. Another one over here. It's good for that one. 
This is another bird. This one is one of my favorite of the stamp set. I'll show you this stamp set in just a second. Uh, get this. And I'm just doing these on top of all of the other um, pieces because I figured, you know, anything that goes through, I don't mind. And this is um, birds of a feather, so it's just some verbiage. Get it going in some different locations here. There we go. And then I have a birdhouse. There we go. And uh, I've got some, uh, this is a, just some verbiage with um, with a an egg. Do some with this other one. There we go. And let's see, right here in the center. Maybe get the whole thing. Okay. So, I think I might do a couple more. Now, the big thing with, with this stuff is to make sure that you're um, using waterproof. I'm getting all the ink off of this. I'm going to get all the ink off of this. Okay, make sure you're using waterproof stuff. It's cleaning all the ink off. There we go. All right, and then this. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. Now, what I'm going to do is take all of these other ones off of here, and I have coffee water, and I have a little bit of, um, of uh, Pearl X in here, um, just a little uh, clear Pearl X so that it's got some shininess to it. And what I'm going to do, and I'm, I'm, is, let's see, I'll get everything out of the way here, is I'm going to spray this and make it absolutely soaking wet, okay? And what I end up with, because this is pretty much the same colors, I did use purple, and this one did not use it in, in this one that I've already done. I used more, a little more blue in this one but I sprayed it completely. The colors merged and blended beautifully in here. This is pretty much what it looked like before I sprayed it with my coffee. And then the water made all of the Tim Holtz inks uh, wick out. And um, you really couldn't tell what it was doing until it was getting closer to drying out. And it's just gorgeous. And now you can rip this and put it on to any project. Um, you just roll them up or fold them, whatever you want to do while you're waiting to use it for a project. Um, but it's just, and here's the, the back half is just as beautiful as the front, so it really doesn't matter other than, you know, the verbiage is going to be backwards. But um, yeah, it's just 
gorgeous. So that is something that you can do with your tissue paper. And then when you do the Mod Podge, you're also going to start making that ink move again. But yet your your birds and everything else are going <coughs> to... Oh, excuse me. Your birds and swirls and all of that stuff are still going to be set in stone because they're all done with uh, either stays on or VersaFine or something that's waterproof. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. I don't want to spray this because I'm actually going to be move, moving on and working on something else. And once you spray this, and I mean make sure it is totally soaking wet, you got to leave it to dry completely because this is tissue paper. And if you've got it soaking wet and you go to pick it up, it's tearing. And you, you, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, it's like Humpty Dumpty. You ain't putting it back together again. <laughs> um, so you gotta, you gotta have that time to uh, maybe make up a, a a few sheets, and then every night before you go to bed, spray one of them and let it sit. And uh, but as you can see, it was a pretty fast process. So I hope you try this. Um, and again, it's something that you can totally uh, work to fit whatever it is you're working on. And so that's why, uh, you know, I was really kind of excited. Um, yeah, pretty stuff. Okay, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye now. Here's the one we just finished. And I sprayed it down. It's much, much lighter than the first one, so it, it all depends on how intense you want it. Um, you can, you know, still the same stamps, uh, just a little different look. So, just thought I'd make sure you saw the finished product on the one that we did together. Alright guys, we will uh, see you next time. Thanks for joining me, and give me a thumbs up if you like this project. I'll talk to you later. Bye.